I'm Mark Cavanaugh for Cavi Coaches with a Cavi Coaches Quick Tip. You've collected data for your line emission spectroscopy lab, and now it's time to analyze that data. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in our data. So we have 456 nanometers, and we want to convert that into meters. We go into the cell that we want, and we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type an equal sign that tells the sheet that we're going to type a formula. And then I'm going to select the cell that I want, which is A2. You can either type it or select it. And then I'm going to convert nanometers to meters by multiplying by 1 times 10 to the negative 9. Times 10 to the power of is the capital E. Then I press enter, and I can see that I get this long decimal. So I want this decimal in scientific notation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on format. When you click on format, you can have all these options, text, number. Well, we have a number. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the number. We're going to scroll down until we see scientific, select scientific, and it's put it into scientific notation for us, 4.56 times 10 to the negative 7. Now that's three sig figs. So let's convert frequency in inverse seconds. So again, you're going to type an equal sign. And we know that frequency is equal to speed divided by wavelength. The speed is the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8th. We're going to divide that by B2, and that gives us our frequency. Now we're going to calculate frequency in terms of energy. So we go to our cell again. We type in equals. We know we're going to type in Planck's constant, 6.64 times 10 to the negative 34th. And we're going to multiply that by our frequency. So times, and we're going to select the cell C2 and hit enter. So now we've calculated wavelength, frequency, and energy for our wave. Now we're going to highlight the three boxes and have this black cross appear in the bottom right corner and drag down as many data points as we have. And now we can just type in data points into our wavelength column in nanometers, and it will do all the conversions for us. So let's say we have a 582 wavelength, and you can see we have all of the data calculated for us. So this is how you easily analyze data in Google Sheets. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day and an even better video tomorrow. helpful. Don't forget to click the like button down below and subscribe to my channel, Cavi Coaches, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Cavi Coaches.